Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over three ways to use the image export tool in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Doodly's new export as image feature makes it easy to export your Doodly scenes as images. But then what? Why would you want to export one of your scenes as an image? Well, here are three ways that you can use this feature to enhance your Doodly projects. So let's start with the first one, which is sharing and feedback. So if you want to share your images with others, perhaps you want to share an image of a scene with your video with someone who doesn't have access to Doodly. For example, if you want your colleagues feedback on how a scene looks, exporting it as an image is a great way to do so. So here I just exported the image and then brought it into Microsoft Word. And to do that, you just right click down here in the timeline, choose save as image, and then make your choices. The next way that you can use these images is to create a picture in picture effect. So I exported that image and then I just re-imported it. So this is just one static image here and brought it in to create this picture in picture effect. Yes, you could copy and paste the assets and put them in here just as easily, but this gives you an option where it's just one asset to deal with. If you have a bunch of them, for example, you don't want to have to change all of their timings and whatnot. You just want them all to be just one graphic. That's a way that you can do it. And then finally, you could use your exported image as a way to colorize your doodly images. So you'll see here this band, I exported the image and then I used a paint program to just paint in some colors for him. So I used my favorite, you guys know I like it, Pixelmator Pro. And what I did is I took one of the paint brushes and I made it kind of soft here and chose different colors. This is his belt color. And then I just painted in the different colors. And then I exported it and then re-imported it into Doodly. So if you'd like, I can show you that really quick. So let's take a scene here. All right, this is not the world's greatest scene, but we'll use it for our example. Save as image, and I'm gonna save it as a PNG, and it's going to my desktop, that's fine. I'm gonna choose a 1080p. So now I'm here in Pixelmator Pro with my graphic and I've selected my paint tool. So let's choose, I like the soft spray, that's fine. It's, it's just kind of what I like. And we'll choose like a light blue color for the car. And then we're just gonna just, whoa, that's like too much, isn't it? So I'm gonna turn the opacity way, way, way down. And I'm just gonna color it in like so. I'm not going to be super fancy here. I'm just going to do this and I think you'll get the idea. Whoops, that's just too much. Let's turn the brush size down. But I think you'll get the idea pretty quick on what we're doing. Okay, that's it for now. I hope that gives you some ideas on different ways that you can use this export as image feature in Doodly. Try it out and see how it can help enhance your projects. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.